Okay, so we are talking about scientific notation. It's a way of writing really big numbers and really small numbers in a kind of condensed way. Although you can write regular numbers like five with scientific notation. We are also going to be using significant figures in here. Um, so that is maybe the new point here. Um, please read these directions. Uh, I'm not going to take up our time by reading it. So these, I think, well, some people might think the second half is easier, but I'm just going to go in order. Okay, so first thing you need to know is that anything that is less than 1 has a negative exponent. So 10 to the minus, you start. So I find the decimal place. Here it is. I move it 1, 2, 3 spots. That means that is where I'm, where I'm stopping is where the number is now, you know, a, a number, whole number. Uh, in the in the ones place. So that's a five. Now, can you say 5.0? Well, not really, because this number only has one significant figure. According to the sig fig rules, if you have a number less than one, you have a start at the decimal point, these zeros don't skip, you start at the first non-zero. Now, if significant figures is what's messing you up, that's a whole separate lesson. Hopefully, you should know the scientific notation kind of business going on. All right, so our next one, positive exponent, one, two, three. How do I know to go all the way this way? Well, I need to have a number between one and 10. I need to have only one number in the ones place. And so I'll include all of those. But not all of those, all of those. I will include only the significant numbers. I will not include the zero. Please don't. I know maybe you've learned that in another science class, but now we're in chemistry, so we want only sig figs. Okay, negative exponent, one, two, three, four, eight, because it's only one sig fig. So positive exponent, one sig fig, so it's one, two, three, one, times 10 to the third. Positive exponent, one, two, three, four, five, six. The number is 1. Do not put 1.0. That's too many significant figures. So negative exponent here, 1 spot, 2.5. Sorry, this is messy. This is, again, negative exponent, 1, 2 spots, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2. 2.5, again, I'm just going to guess, 1, 2, 3, negative 3. Okay, positive exponent. One, two, five, one sig fig, one, two, three. Oh my goodness, 10 to the third, five. All right, now bottom half, convert to standard notation. So you start where the decimal place is and you move over. So here's my 1.5, one, two, three. How did I know to move to the left? Positive exponent, exponent means. Uh, number greater than 1, 1,500. Okay? Uh, this means we're going to move to the, uh, did I say move to the left? I meant move to the right. Uh, move to the left, 1, 2, 3, decimal place. Um, negative, so here's my thing, 1, 2, and I think of it like an egg carton, so 0 0.0375. Move it 1, 2 spots, so that's my answer. 2.2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so let's think of these egg, egg carton. So this is 220,000, 3.35 times 10 to the negative 1, so that means move it one spot this way. Can you put a zero there? Absolutely, it's because that doesn't affect our significant figures. 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, throw that decimal place in there. So if it's hard to read, this is 0 0.00012, uh, 10 to the fourth. Um, let's see. So that's one. No decimal place, but it'd be here. One, two, three, four. So that is 10,000. Um, do you need a comma here? Uh, I don't know. I guess. You can space it out. Uh, move to this way. One. So point 0.1. And 10 to the 0, that means move your decimal place 0 spots. Or you just know this is equal to 1. So we're just left with 4. So if you have any questions on significant figures, that's a different issue. Otherwise, if you have questions on um, sign notation, let me know. Thanks.